Hi everyone, in this video we're going to show you Windows 10 Pro best practices. So first of all we want to customize our start menu and we want to unpin tiles from it. So we're just going to click on the start menu and you're going to see that we have a bunch of different apps here. So we're just going to right click on them and you're going to see that we get a whole menu. And if we go to the first one it says unpin from start, we're just going to click it and you can see that that app is gone. So the other thing that we can do is we can resize the start menu. This is done very easily as you can see. You just have to hover over the scrolling feed and you just extend it and like, you can expand it. The other thing is that you can rename the start menu, the sections, so and move them around. So here we're just moving around games and we're gonna move around explore and you can see it adjusts this automatically to the size it has on the start menu. Okay, so next thing is that we're going to show you how to customize your taskbar in Action Center and hide the search box. So you're going to right click and you're going to click on search and you're going to select show search icons. So here it is. So we just actually hit the search box that we had before. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to show the colors on the start menu. So we're going to click on the start menu and we're going to go into settings. Once the window is open, you're going to click on personalization. Once you click there, we're going to go into colors. And here you can choose whatever color you want to choose for your start menu. You can change it to whatever color you want or you can do a custom color. So we're just going to choose sports green. And you can see once you click it, it automatically changes into your computer. So you don't have to hit apply or anything like that. It just does it automatically. So we can also change the start, the taskbar and the action center. So right now you see that the taskbar is green and the action center, once we click it on our right hand corner, is green as well. So we're just going to X out of this and we're going to go back into our action center. So here we can choose our actions and we can customize them to whatever we want to see. So if we right click on an action, we're going to click edit. And if you click on the little pin, you're going to unpin it from the from the menu. So we just we just unpin two of them and we're going to click done and you can see that they're no longer there. If you want to pin important things on the start menu like an app you just have to go into your start menu and you're gonna go and look for the app that you want to pin. So here we're selecting Microsoft Silverlight and we're gonna click pin and you can see that it automatically pins on our start menu and we just moved it to create the create tab or a section, as you want to call it. We can resize it as well. We can make it a small or medium. We can unpin it. We can uninstall it. Whatever you want to do, we can do it. So if we want to pin an app to the start menu, you just right click, click on more, and you can pin to the taskbar. You just click it, and now it's going to show on your taskbar at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so if we want to pin a folder to have quick access, like we have here on Alphara Explorer, that's done very easily. So you just have to select the folder that you want. You're going to right click and you're going to click on pin to quick access. So right now it's pinned on our file explorer. So that's good to go. So if we want to get a new app from the App Store, you just have to go to the Microsoft App Store. And once it loads, you're just going to select the app that you want to download on your computer. So for this one, we're just going to choose, I don't know, maybe like a drawing one. Or let's see what we can find here that's free and easy to download. So let's choose this one, Sketchable. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to get it. It's a free app and we can draw on it and sketch on it. So we're just going to use it. So we're just going to click uh, no thanks. And it started. We're going to, we already own this app. So we're just going to install it. So you already started installing and you can, as you can see, you can move around the screen 
and it's gonna keep installing so you're not gonna disrupt the download process and here we just we're just moving our file explorer window and you can see that it automatically attaches and moves around to whatever window you have open so when you want to set default apps you just have to go back into the start menu into your settings and apps and features and here you go into default apps so these are the apps that you usually see when you go into settings and stuff like that so let's say that we have music player here and we want to make windows media player our default app so we're just gonna click it and it's supposed to change automatically so instead of opening up with groove music it's gonna open up with windows media player so if you guys have any questions make sure to comment below remember to subscribe to our youtube channel and thank you for watching